One day, long ago, in Cardiganshire, Wales, an old woman was outside with her cow and her little black dog. Sometime during their walk, the old woman lost track of her cow. She searched and searched until she heard her cow. She followed the moos until she reached a ravine, and on the other side was her cow. She desperately searched for a way across. Just when she realized it was hopeless, the devil appeared beside her. He made an offer to the old woman. He would build a bridge for her only if he could claim the soul of the first living thing to cross the bridge. The old woman agreed, and in no time at all, he created a bridge. The devil smiled from ear to ear, expecting the old woman to cross. She smiled back and pulled a piece of bread out of her bag. She tore a piece off and threw it across the bridge. Then her little black dog ran across the bridge after it. Still smiling, the old lady said, You can have my dog. The devil stomped his feet and threw one hell of a fit. He was so angry and embarrassed he disappeared in a puff of smoke leaving behind the little black dog. In Ireland, long ago, there was a man named Jack. Jack was a very, very wicked man. His reputation was so foul that it reached the ears of the devil himself. The devil feared that Jack would be considered more wicked than himself, so he decided it was time to collect Jack's soul. That night, Jack was walking home when he noticed a smiling figure laying on the cobblestone path leading to his house. Jack soon realized that the figure was the devil. He pleaded, don't take me to hell sober. The devil agreed, and the two snuck in to the local pub. Jack drank his fill, and then told the devil, go pay my tab. Amused by this, Satan agreed, but Jack stopped him before he could pay. You probably shouldn't. You might end up scaring everyone. Besides, I have a fantastic idea. You can turn yourself into a coin, and I could use you to pay off my tab. When the bartender puts you away, you can return to your normal form. You can't lose. You save your money, and I can't go that far in my current condition. The devil agreed and turned himself into a coin. But instead of handing the coin to the bartender, Jack put the coin into his pocket right next to his silver cross. This trapped the devil. The devil pleaded with Jack to let him out. Jack agreed on the condition that he would leave him alone for 10 years. The devil agreed and was released. 10 years later to the day, the devil returned to collect Jack's soul. This time Jack begged don't take me to hell on an empty stomach. Can you go up that apple tree and get me some apples? Because I am far too old to do it myself. Satan agreed and climbed up the tree. Quickly, Jack carved a cross onto the trunk of the tree. Yet again, Jack had trapped the devil. And as before, he pleaded with Jack. Jack said he would release him on the condition that Satan would leave him alone and that when he would die, he wouldn't be taken to hell. The devil agreed and was released. Shortly after, Jack died from old age and went to St. Peter's Gate in heaven. St. Peter told Jack 
that there was no way a man as wicked as him would ever be allowed into heaven. So Jack thought he would try his luck with hell. But the devil denied Jack entry, per their agreement. But the devil felt sorry for Jack and handed him a burning ember so he could see where he was going. Jack is forever stuck between heaven and hell. People in Ireland were so scared of running into Jack's spirit on Halloween that they would empty out turnips and put tiny candles into them to scare away Jack and evil spirits. This eventually turned into our modern day jack-o'-lanterns. Next week, I will make a new video on Danila, a Romanian man who tricked the devil. The story is so long that it warrants its own video. Do not forget to leave a like and subscribe if you have enjoyed this video. And if you already have, thank you very much!